Hey, if you've been looking for a waterfall pump and you're looking at some of the larger pumps, you've probably been noticing uh, a measurement for head height. Uh, could even be uh, listed as um, waterfall rise or just waterfall height. But on the pumps, on the larger pumps, there'll normally be a notation for head height. Now, say you're looking at a 3,600 gallon per hour pump, and then you'll notice that for head height, it may say five, which would be five foot of head height, 10, 15, 20. Now, what you want to do to figure out what the head height is that you're looking at is you're going to want to figure out the top, the top of your pump to the top of your waterfall. So if your pump is down three foot and your waterfall is three foot, already you're at six foot of head height. Now to make it more complicated, what you're going to need to do is also add one foot of head height for every 10 foot of pond tubing that you have. So if you've got six foot of head height and another 20 foot of tubing, now all of a sudden you're at eight foot of head height. So on that 3,600 gallon per hour pump, now all of a sudden for what you're pumping, you know, it's gonna show you at five foot it's 3,100 gallons and at 10 foot say it's around 2,000 gallons, you're probably gonna be pumping at around 22, 2,300 gallons per hour at that head height. So, you know, instead of buying the 3,600 gallon per hour pump, if that's how much flow you really wanted, you may have to go up to the next size, say a 4,500 gallon per hour pump. And to make it even more complicated, for every inch of width of your waterfall, you're gonna require another 100 gallons per hour. And if that's not enough to get your head around, a lot of times you'll see a GPM for head height instead of GPH. And what you have to do then is take whatever the GPM is, um, you know, say it's 50, multiply that by 60 because it's gallons per minute. And so we're going to want to figure out gallons per hour. At least I do because it makes it easy for me to understand, you know, what this pump's going to actually do at head height. Now the other thing to, to be careful of is, you know, it doesn't just keep going along, you know, the formula you think it would. You know, it'd say at 5 foot head height or 3600 gallon per hour pump is now dropped to 31. At 10 foot, it's 2,000. But at 15 foot, you're thinking, oh, it's 1,000. Well, it's not. You know, basically, there a, a, comes a point where that pump can just only pump so much head height. And that 3,600 is going to die somewhere between, you know, 10 and 15 foot. It's just not going to be able to pump 15 foot of head height. Uh, even a 4,500 gallon prior pump, you know, where at 10 foot, maybe it's running 3,400 gallons. At 15, it's dropped to 2,000. And at 20, which it can still pump, but it's only pumping 900 gallons. So if you've got a, a waterfall that's more than you know this wide, at that head height, even that 4,500 gallon per hour pump is basically just going to be a trickle for you. So, you know, keep in mind that first of all, be able to figure your head height. Understand that the farther away the pump is from the waterfall, the more tubing it has to go through. That's going to cut down on how much flow you're going to have. And also understand the wider your falls, the more flow you're going to need to make it look the way you want it to. So there is no real rule of thumb. It's just things to be aware of. It's just a lot of times if you figured out, hey, you know, the amount of flow that my neighbor's 2,000 gallon per hour pump does over, over their little falls is what I want, but their pump is sitting right there next to the falls and it's not having to go very high, you may have to have double the size of pump to get the same amount of flow. Conversely, if your neighbor has a very big pump, but they're pumping very high up, and they're pumping a long way away, you may be able to get the same amount of waterfall with half the size of pump. So these are just some things to keep in mind, and don't let head height or rise throw you. That's how you work your way through it.